There are published reports that Hoffa engineered his own disappearance, but sources close to the Hoffa family discount that theory. Primarily, they say, because Hoffa would never put his family through the ordeal they've suffered since last week. And Hoffa would know that his disappearance would prompt an intense investigation. And Jimmy Hoffa wasn't the kind of man who would want investigators looking into his personal affairs for clues to his whereabouts. Ron Miller, ABC News at the Hoffa home in Lake Orion, Michigan. Many calls coming into the secret witness program for Detroit News and that uh, each and every lead is being run down and uh, we're hopeful that something will come from that. Uh, naturally, when you have a case of this size, there are a lot of uh, people calling in, and some of the leads uh, you know, are interesting, and some are worth following up, and others obviously are not. But again, we want everybody to help us, and we ask anybody that has any information to please call in. Yes? Do you have any of the tips that have come in seem promising at this point? Some have, yes. I'm not going to elaborate on that, but we have some tips that uh, uh, are being checked out and uh, are very, very interesting. Have you talked with Mr. O'Brien since he... And I definitely told him that. No explanation to you? Yeah, for no explanation. Jim, is there a bad feeling between you and Jackie? There's no bad feeling. A horrible thing has happened, and I want to get to the bottom of it. Just his associations and his activities over the past week are all under scrutiny and they're going to be checked out. And we're going to find out exactly what was going on. And after all your lifelong association, he offered you no explanation why he has not contacted you in this period of time? None. None whatsoever. What is your gut feeling about this point? I can only say that I would like to see him take a polygraph test. I think that would resolve some doubts that we have about him. Will you elaborate on his associates in the past week? I will not. I do not know what his plans are. I would hope that he would stay here and take a polygraph test like yeah, he should. It's not what he said to me, it's just his activities over the past and week. Mr. Hoffman, why, why do you think he, or did he give you any indication why he did not feel he could take a polygraph test? He did not. He did not. So we have to wait and see. What were the exact words, though? Well, he uh, hesitated, stalled, and said that maybe later, maybe later. And I said, now is the time. And he hesitated some more. So anyway, that's the developments up to now, men. We'll keep you advised as to what's going on. And uh, let's just hope for some good news. Thank you very much. It was a week ago today that Hoffa disappeared, and there is still no reported progress in the investigation of his apparent abduction, but there was today at least a partial solution of another strange facet of the case. Hoffa's adopted son and almost constant companion, Chuck O'Brien, reappeared in Detroit today after having mysteriously disappeared himself last week. Any uh, federal agents and his lawyer? And his lawyer. Yes, I think there's a gentleman there from State Police. Have you uh, talked to him since then, though, find out where he's been? Well, a few hours ago you said you wanted an accounting, I believe. You haven't gotten that, you personally? I am not being audited, my friend, so I have no accounting right. to explain. Everybody well, I said sir, you wanted an accounting. If you want, want, to if you want this back. interview, you okay. can have it. Okay. Stand, but stand you're not going to interview me. Please. All right. I'll tell you what. Brian right. has discussed oh, mind now. with the various investiga investigatory agencies all of his activities and his whereabouts for the past several days. And I don't think that would be appropriate to discuss this. Why didn't he contact the family all of this time? Or did he? I don't think that would be appropriate to discuss. I think we could probably discuss that with the family. Where has he been? Can you just answer that? I don't think that would be proper to discuss. Did Mr. O'Brien have any information at all on where Mr. Hunter may be? None whatsoever. Is there anything to the report that Mr. O'Brien was seen in the vicinity of where Mr. Hoffa's car was found Thursday? Again, I don't think I would have a comment on that. Does he believe Mr. Hoff is dead? I don't know what he believes, but uh, I couldn't speculate on something. Like Can Mr. O'Brien tell us? No, Mr. O'Brien can't have any comments. Even if he fear, whether he fears Mr. Hoff is dead? I don't think it would be appropriate. And as far as I'm concerned, if he did have some speculation on that, all he could serve to do is impede the investigation. Why, is he, why isn't he going to talk to us at this time? 
because we have been requested by the uh, various investigative agencies to uh, uh, discuss with them anything that we have, any information that we have, and to not discuss with them. Okay, the 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 I'm not finished. Oh, Come oh, on now, will you? Go. You've got about ten. Okay. Uh, just going to tell you, is there any reason to believe that some information he might have might tip somebody off or yeah. push somebody to something? I wouldn't think so at all. Did, did the federal agents... Let him finish the question, would you, Harrington? He answered it. I didn't think so. Did the federal agents uh, indicate that Mr. O'Brien will be no. out to appear before the grand jury? Not at all. I think that's enough, don't you? Good job. Okay. Thank you very much. Mr. Brady, can check? This morning, yes. 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 He's supposed to contact me later today. Here at your office? I suppose. In person? You find me. In person? I don't expect anybody else to speak for him. Did what did he tell you when he talked to you? About Hoffa's disappearance. What about it? Did he say anything at all about it? I didn't talk to him about that. He, j he just called in and said, uh, I'll be in touch with you. Has he been today. on union business, as he told me, the last few days? I don't know. Well, you you know what the nature is. of the conversation is? What did you discuss if you didn't discuss Mr. Hoffman, Mr. Holmes? I just discussed him with me. I told him to get in touch with me later today, and he said he would. Did he tell you where he was calling from? No. You, you expect to come personally here, Mr. Holmes? I expect to be in touch with him. Did he give any, indi did he get any, any indication at all of why he just hasn't been visible? None whatsoever. Isn't this all a bit mysterious to you, Mr. Holmes? I think it's mysterious to you, too, isn't it? Certainly. All right. Has but yet you did not inquire about Mr. Hoffa? I told him to get in touch with me. You told him and he said Mr. Hoffa to get in touch with you? I, no, I'm not talking about Mr. now. We're talking about Mr. O'Brien. Mr. O'Brien called me this morning. He didn't tell me where he was at. I said, I want you to get in touch with me, so I'll be in touch with you later today. Now, that's the extent of it. Do you know by phone, or is he coming here? I would expect to see him. I don't know if I'll see him Has here. Has he talked with the family? Though? I don't know. Do you have any questions in your mind why Mr. O'Brien suddenly disappeared? Do I have any questions in my mind? Is it normal for a man not to show up to work and not call his boss? If you know Mr. O'Brien, most anything is normal. He's, quote, been on union business down into the South. Is that logical? Is that reasonable? I did not assign him to the South. Isn't he being transferred there? Uh, that's a question of uh, Mr. Fitzsimmons and himself, not me. I don't know. Isn't that in the works? I think it might be in the works, but I'm not on the floor to speak and on it. Would it be reasonable, then, that he might... It could be. Are you his boss right now? Am I your boss? No. Are you his boss? I'm the man I think that he's responsible to account himself to. You want an accounting from him? I've got him either going to contact me or see me. He's on his way where, from wherever he is back in. You'd like to see an accounting from other people to find Well, I intend telling Mr. O'Brien that if he's got some secrets, he'd better tell them. Do you know if Mr. O'Brien did in fact uh, get in the car driven by a quote team official officer? I do not mind? know anything at all. Anybody here know that? I don't know for other people. Mr. Holmes, what time do you expect uh, Mr. O'Brien? I have no idea. With all of the speculation going on, have you been doing any speculating yourself about uh, Mr. O'Brien and Mr. Hoffa? No, I'll just wait and see what the authorities find out. Thank you, Mr. Holmes. Sure. Okay. I, I, I think uh, I think I'd like to begin by by asking you about what appeared to be renewed optimism on your part, uh, but for that, uh, what it was interpreted as as renewed optimism, and, and what is the status of? I can only say this. Uh, we are still optimistic from the standpoint that a full investigation is being done. Uh, there are no new specific leads, but it's a matter of accumulating what we have in the past and putting it together and coming up with some conclusions. Uh, all this is being, are being handled uh, by the authorities, and this whole picture is being put together. There is no new specific things that, uh, that would you know, stir renewed optimism, nothing specific. But we are encouraged by the investigation. We're encouraged by the, the participation of the general public, uh, people calling in with tips, people who, uh, who are legitimately concerned and feel that they might have something. Not all of these pan out, but uh, when you put them together, we feel that you know, if we have enough participation that somebody might have seen something that could lead us to the answer to this mystery. In terms of uh, your father's obvious uh, relationship with the two million Teamsters and, and the friends and associations, yes. uh, associates who've been calling, 
Is there any particular area that you feel needs more filling out? Is there any particular area of information that you'd like the public to respond to? Is there anything in particular that you're looking for? Yes, I would like the public to respond to our reward. I would like the public, I would like the two million Teamsters to respond to in, in a way that is meaningful, and that is for anybody, and I don't mean Teamsters, I mean the public itself, anybody that might have information concerning my father's disappearance. We feel that this man, a nationally prominent man, was in that parking lot for a meeting, that somebody must have seen something, and I would like them to come forward and please tell us. Contact me, contact the FBI, contact uh, the Secret Witness Program here in the Detroit area. These are the kind of things that I would like the public to respond to, and I think that if we have this kind of response, that we will be able to solve this mystery. We keep hearing Mr. O'Brien's name. Um, I'd like to know, as of now, your feeling on, on Mr. O'Brien's role in all of this, and as also, do you know if the FBI has asked him to take a polygraph test? It's my understanding that the FBI is going to ask him to take a polygraph test. His activities are extremely suspicious in the date in question. He cannot account for certain periods of time, not convincingly at least, and the only way to resolve those types of suspicions, I think, is by a polygraph. And so far he has refused to do that. Is your concern uh, in any way related to the reports that we've been getting that uh, Mr. O'Brien had uh, become uh, allied with the Fitzsimmons faction of the uh, Teamsters Union, or does it have any uh, uh, there are allegations concerning connections with underworld figures? I'd rather not comment on that. I think the important thing is for us just to find out uh, what Mr. O'Brien was doing on that day, and that might give us a substantial lead which we could follow up on. Are you satisfied with what he's told you about the four or five days that he was disappeared? that he had been out of touch with you and, uh, and apparently everyone. No, I'm not. The resumption of leadership of the Teamsters Union play in this, in this mystery, and, and also as part of that question, your comments on that are pretty well known, but the names that keep turning up are really uh, underworld people, people that are alleged underworld people, uh, Provenzano, Giacalone, uh, Schultz. What's the connection? I wouldn't want to make any comment on that, and I really, really don't know. Control to all of this. It's possible. Who would be bold enough, do you think? I have no idea. I have no idea who perpetrated this crime, and that's why we have the authorities working on it. I'd like to get for the record, uh, this, this talk of the, the million dollar withdrawal from the pension fund, you've already said you'd know if he'd done that, he had not done it, but I'd like to know for the record, alleged withdrawal. Well, I know that there has been no million dollar withdrawal, so that certainly ends that speculation. How important is this pension fund to, to Teamster politics and these allegations concerning... I would say it's not important at all. Not to this case. The men who've known your father, and you've known him best certainly, but uh, Mr. Johnson and uh, others have said he'd never go with somebody he didn't know. No, no. I think that's correct. I don't think he would get in a car with complete strangers. It's certainly a distinct possibility that he, know, he knew the people who abducted him. Do you have any scenario on all of it that... that no, I don't. The scenario's been in the newspapers. I don't want to go through it again. Of course. Do you, do you think... Uh, do you think that... Uh, you think it's somebody he had to know, obviously. Now, what is it going to take... And I hate to ask you this question, Mr. Hoffa, but what is it going to take if nobody is ever found and your father is not found? What is it going to... What will finally convince you that either your father has been killed or... At this time, we, we assume that he is alive, and we will certainly continue the investigation and continue to attempt to find him. Do you, uh, do you think that Mr. O'Brien will ag ag agree to a polygraph test uh, if, if asked by the FBI, and, and, and if he doesn't, uh, does that say anything more to you? I don't know what Mr. O'Brien is going to do but I know up till now that he has refused to take the polygraph test. Tell me a little bit about the relationship of your father and Mr. O'Brien. I'd rather not go into it. Uh, do you think... Well, last question. Do you think that... that uh, do you think that when this, this mystery is finally solved, Mr. O'Brien will have played a key part in it? That remains to be seen. Uh, all I know is that if he had a role in it, it would be investigated very carefully. If your father comes back, if your father does not come back. 
Teamsters is a, a large international entity. Uh, it will go on just as the presidency of the United States went on when the president was assassinated and when there has been a change of office. And uh, governments, whether it be a union government or whether it be uh, the government of the United States, they have a tendency and have a way to go on. And I would imagine that will go on. So the Teamsters will continue. Okay. I think that's about it. Um, that's fine. Probably not. You're rolling? No. Yeah. All right, Jim, I'd like to begin by asking you uh, about this call that you received last night, uh, who the person said he was, uh, what, what the conversation involved, and whether you uh, feel certain that it, in fact, was the person who said he was. Called into the newsroom, asked for me by a name, said he was O'Brien, and during the conversation I was convinced it was either O'Brien or somebody who went to a great deal of difficulty to sound exactly like him. He said he was okay, not to worry, wouldn't elaborate too much, wouldn't say where he was. I asked him what he knew about Hoppe's disappearance. He said, quote, I don't know anything more than anybody else, which I allowed wasn't an answer, but he said that's it for now, that he would be back in town in a day or two. Was there any explanation for his disappearance in the conversation? No, no, he fended off every question of that sort. He said, I'll talk about it later. Is it your understanding that he is still not contacted the Hoppe family? I called the Hoppas immediately after that to see if Chucky had called them. He had not. In fact, uh, James, uh, Jimmy's son, was uh, very surprised that O'Brien had called and a little put out, I think, that he hadn't called the family. There's a great deal of speculation as to what role O'Brien may have played in Hoppas' disappearance, uh, mm -hmm. what role, in fact, he may play in this continuing mystery. What, is, what are your feelings? You knew the man very well. Yes, and O'Brien was extremely close to Hoffa professionally and personally. It is uh, likely that whatever happened to Jimmy Hoffa, or whatever led up to it at least, uh, that O'Brien would be aware of it. Uh, that possibility may be why we haven't seen Chucky O'Brien. Does it make sense to you? And, uh, I understand, as you say, that O'Brien and Hoffa were extremely close. Does it make sense to you that during this ordeal, O'Brien would be out of town on what he says was union business? Yeah. No, it doesn't. It doesn't hang together at all. Do you think that uh, do you, there's this question of allegiances? Uh, uh, obviously, O'Brien uh, was very close allied to, to, to Hoffa. Is there any possibility that that may have changed? I suppose so, because there are others who were close to Hoffa, who are now aligned with Fitzsimmons. Uh, I, I suppose so, but in O'Brien it would be unusual because there was the personal tie that went beyond the union business. Tell me a little bit about that personal tie, the, the kind of personal relationship these two men have. Uh, O'Brien's been described as Hoffa's constant companion. Some say that meant he was his bodyguard. Tell me a bit, yeah, a bit about that. Yeah, Chucky functioned as that, I suppose. He was almost, in the, he's been quoted as being an adopted son. That was a convenience to get him into Lewisburg to see Hoffa. But uh, he was almost raised by Hoffa. He started to work 17, 18 years old uh, for the union, and Hoffa gave him his first job and had him under his wing from, from his teens. How close were they? Well, that close. Uh, uh, almost a father-son relationship, I suppose. Constantly together? When Hoffa was active in the union, yes. Wherever Jimmy was, there would, you'd find Chucky. Why uh, is there any kind of rivalry between the, uh, the Hoffa children themselves and O'Brien? Why would you imagine that O'Brien wouldn't call his, uh, his family uh, the Hoffas? I don't know, unless we go back to the business of allegiance, if Chucky has slowly but surely in the last few months shifted his allegiance to Fitzsimmons, that might just be a personal embarrassment that would cause him to not call. Mrs. Cranzer, Hoffa's daughter, is quoted as saying today, all we want to do is have Chuck tell us the truth. Yeah, well, I would presume what she has in mind is, does he know anything about Jimmy's disappearance? Did he have any role in it? And, uh, an intriguing kind of thing, though, that really the more you think about it, uh, Kranz are saying all we want is for Chuck to yeah. tell us the truth. That just doesn't seem to make... Uh, uh, there's an implication there. I don't know if you saw the film uh, yesterday from the news conference after they announced the reward. Someone asked, you know, where O'Brien is, and, and Jim Hoffa said, no, we don't know where he is. And it was kind of an irritated thing as opposed to something that, uh, which would indicate concern. He was very irritated last night when I called him to... Uh, extremely irritated, now that... Uh, yeah. Live television.
went through the use of straight money. It was the subject of a rather lengthy debate in the Senate. John Adebakor of Grand Rapids, the chairman of the Special Investigating Committee. Oh, I'll let you know the